and uh, the daily coronavirus briefing. Coronavirus daily briefing. I'm joined by the Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Professor Van Tam, and by Professor John New. At the heart of our plan is ensuring that NHS capacity is always ahead of need. This means that if you or someone you love needs hospital care with COVID-19, then you will always get that care. If, God forbid, you need care in an intensive care unit, then you will have that bed and the life-saving equipment and team that you need. The latest figures show another record high of 2,963 spare critical care beds available. I can't believe that. We, can, we said at the start of this that our primary goal in our battle plan was to slow the spread and protect the NHS by flattening the curve and increasing capacity. That plan is working. At no point in this crisis... I just can't believe it, can you? I can't believe it. I, I'm not even getting any paid money. Why am I weren't meant to work the six o'clock news at home? Yes, and my uh, manager, Rusty, just sent me an email there. Oh, what did he say? Right, this was the email that I received. Right, um, where was it? Um, Dear Penny Penguin, I am writing to inform you that I can no longer be providing you money for the six o'clock news due to it being cancelled at the minute because of coronavirus. We don't care about your living and household. We care about saving our money. Would you believe that those people actually care about more about their money than us? Of course they do. They're, it's my boss. I maybe would have given you some money if you did not ch dump, dump me for Chuck. Is this Rusty? Yes, remember, he's my manager. From Rusty at six o'clock news. Honestly, I work so hard for them. I'm the only presenter of the show one and a half hour every single day at six o'clock. Well, you were taking a lot of days off there. Yes, I've got three children to care for. Do they not have any respect? Wow. Listen, yeah, honey, I think you need to go take a chill pill. Because, you know, we're not we're not earning any money. Look at how many money money I earn. There's people downloading it every day. Um your game is as dead as the feathers on your head. What are you talking about? Well, let's not talk about that. Let's just admire the beautiful view out here. It's so nice, isn't it? Oh yeah. Mm, it's, it's Venus here. Oh yeah, let's open this a little bit more. Oh yeah, so nice! Wow, look over there at the ocean. Oh, whoa! Yeah, everywhere the trees, the sparkle, the glitter. Oh yes. Um, Chuck, I'm starting to feel um a bit sick now. You're joking me? You're feeling a bit sick? How could you feel a bit sick? I'm, I was just, I'm, I'm experiencing a very wild symptom. <laughs> Is it because of that wedding night, isn't it? Oh, let's, look at me, I'm as, I'm as hot as I was 20 years ago. Yeah, that must mean you're very hot then. Funny joke. Well, you know what? Uh, uh, mm, I feel really tired. I said I'm going to fall over. No, don't fall over, woman. We're acting here. No, we're not this... this the, uh, <laughs> Right, doctors of children, could you come and um solve this sick mother? Oh, um, what's wrong with you? Um, I've been experiencing high temperatures. That's not how you speak. I've been experiencing high temperatures and I think I need to go to the hospital. Well, no one can drive but you. Well, I'm not dr driving in my um conditions right now. Um, listen, we're going to try our best to cheer you up. How does that sound? Yes, just get me a tissue or something. Here, tissue box right here. <laughs> Oh, wait. Now you can use it. <laughs> Lovely. Now that we've all used that, I don't need that anymore. Oh, wait, give me that back. I think it would look nice as a hair on you. You know I blew my nose in that. You're trying to put me in hair. It looks like you're contaminating me. 
Listen, I'm going to throw it on you. No, you need it. No, you need it. Right, that's it. I'm phoning a doctor. What doctor would come here during these times? I don't know. Hello, I'm Norris here. Hello, I'm experiencing really high temperatures and a cough and a fever. Aren't really high temperatures and coughs, I don't know. See, even you're getting it wrong. Aren't really high temperatures and a fever the exact same thing? Listen, I don't care. I'm uh, extreme fatigue. Oh, you didn't say that. How old are you? I'm coming 35 this year. You do not need to know what month. Well, actually, I do because I'll, or I'll just look your birth certificate up. I don't have one. Right, it states here that your birthday is in June. June 1985, would it be? June, uh, June the 12th. So you're June the 12th, 1985. That's fabulous to know. So, woman, what do you want me to fix for you? A woman? When do you start calling people woman? If they're born any... any any uh, what is it? If they were born any any more in the past than the thirteenth of July, nineteen eighty five, are you just making that up? So if I was born in the thirteenth, you'd say anyone behind the fourteenth of July has to be called woman. No, listen, I I think <laughs> you cheat that tissue. Oi, you're contaminating me. I have to go back to the hospital. If everyone has it there anyway. Uh, that's not very true. <laughs> All right, get these things. Here, take your box of tissues with you. I'll get you a packet of wipes if you need them. Oi, calm down. Calm down. Here, would Bella like to get her the lovely mug we bought her? Oh, thank you. But there's nothing in it. I thought it would just be nice. Here, use a wipe or something. I don't know. Here. Wipe your eyes or something. Uh, it's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I'm I'm gonna get tight nose. No way. I bought fifteen packets of toilet roll, and I still get it. Come on, that was the solution to everything. Uh, 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 are you using these wipes because you know wipes are wet and I'll make tears come? How did you know? You know me better than anyone. Listen, I don't... Um, I've, you've got me skin. Do you want some skin cream? You're going to put this on me. Listen, I don't need no lotion or what? A45 daily cream. I don't need no lotion. I don't need no tissues. I don't need no wipes. I don't need no mug. I don't need any children coming near me. I don't need no blue sky. I don't need any blankets. I don't need any... I, I don't need an iPad. I don't need any of this stuff. I just want to rest. Okay? Listen, honey, if you're going to... Oh, no, my name's Honey now. Would you stop it? Listen, you I, you either have the coronavirus or you don't. Listen, I have it. And look, the first thing I'm going to be doing is posting on Facebook about how upset I am that I've contracted the coronavirus. Because that's the most important things these days. What got into you, honey? Listen, I'm not even on social media. I just put up, I'm so upset that I've got the coronavirus. There goes me visiting my sister gone. Well, you shouldn't be visiting your sister anyway. I'm going to be reporting you to Boris Johnston and he's going to come in the room and confiscate all this stuff. It's not as if I needed the stuff anyway. Well, except the sky. But you know what I mean. So just admit you have it, don't you have it? Listen, I'm going to get some rest and I'm going to find out if I had it. Now, leave me alone. You're not two metres away. You're not two metres away. You're not two metres away. And you're not 0 0.1 metres away. Oh, I'm surprised you're saying that. Listen, I want a divorce. Whoa, why are you coming in so tough in here? Well, I'm just thinking that you've bought me all this stuff and I'm not a gold digger. I'm I'm not treating you like a gold digger. I'm trying to make you feel a bit better. Well, I've got the coronavirus. How am I meant to feel any better? I don't know. Do you not feel better with all this stuff now that you've got it rather than if you had absolutely nothing? No, I just... You know what? You're so rude and I don't care about your health. You can get anything you want because I'm going... Hmm... I don't know how wives can cope with having their husbands in lockdown. 
I think the government should be supplying separate houses for us. There's no way I can spend two months in a house with you. Your cheeky attitude. You need to go to bed, young lady. Okay. Ah, looks like me putting germs in her work. Now she's fast asleep. Ah, it worked. I was, I was bored of her nagging on to me. I've had to put up with it since March. Boris, I have to be stuck with that woman. Not having it. Glad she's to sleep now. Let's all have a party. Woo! Uh, uh. Two snap. Uh, uh. Dinner beast snap. Uh, uh. Yeah, we'll fight all the weird noises.